Greetings and welcome to our series of weekly devotionals. This week we're taking a look at a few of the readings uh, for the second week in Advent, offering a few thoughts for reflection. And uh, today, well, today I'm also going to look at um, Paul's letter to the Romans. A few years ago, I was out hiking with my family, my wife, and some of my kids. Uh, maybe my brother and his family was along. I don't quite remember who, but there were a number of us were there. We were out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, well, it was in an area where you know the possibility of seeing some wildlife was uh, a certainly uh, a plausible uh, possibility. Uh, bears being one of those possibilities, and uh, I remember my wife asking me if I had remembered to bring bear spray. We had purchased bear spray, bear spray several years ago while, while out in Yellowstone um, for protection, and uh, I said, well, you know, I think I left it in the car, and uh, she said, well, hopefully we won't, won't run into any bears, and I, and I said, well, as long as I'm not the slowest one, one among us, I'm good, <laughs> which I was kind of just joking at the time. But, um, you know, that's kind of how society works, though. You know, a, a pervasive theme in our society is competition. We're called to, to be better than others. And, uh, of course, as we climb the ladder of success in whatever it is we're striving to be successful at, of course, it means we're climbing over others or, or pushing others, others down. And that's just kind of the way society works. I remember reading a story about, um, well, it was in, in the last book that we read in our book study about, um, one of the leading proponents of the prosperity gospel, you know, the gospel that says, if you're faithful enough, God will bless you with riches and fame and all kinds of blessings. And this, uh, this woman had said that, uh, there was a hurricane that was going to come into her community and she and her husband stood out and they're on their porch and they prayed to God that God, that the hurricane would avoid their house, that God would help them to avert a catastrophe. And she said, and our prayers worked because our magnificent, you know, million dollar home was spared. Of course, the hurricane wrecked the homes of, of several of her neighbors, but that didn't seem to matter to her. At least she made it out okay. I don't think that's what communities of faith, people of faith are, are supposed to be about. And in fact, in Paul's letter to the Romans, he writes that, no, no, in fact, if there are weaker people in your community, those who are sort of below you on the ladder, below you on the totem pole, you're not supposed to strive to continue to best them or, or climb above them. You're supposed to reach down and help them. That that's what communities of faith are supposed to do. People of faith are supposed to help the weaker members in your community, to help those under us. I remember a comment made by the Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. when he said that we are all, all of us, tied together in a single garment of destiny, which means my fate is tied in yours and vice versa. And I think that's a good, really good definition for what the beloved community, communities of faith are supposed to be about, that whenever you succeed at something, I do too. Amen.